going to click the wrong one again, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I always do it. I always do it. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. After our very interesting flight, let's say, down to Carnarvon last time round from RF Valley, we're going to be departing straight from where we landed last time. I've now finally figured out the maps, by the way, it just wasn't streaming the Bing maps data onto my screen, so I didn't actually get a sort of top-down shot of the airfield to show where we were. So we're going to be taking off from Ramp 1 parking and today we're going to be flying all the way across up here to Blackpool, EGNH. It's going to be a lovely little flight, I imagine. We're going to be using the RNAV 28 approach. There's no sort of ILS or low-altitude airways from Carnarvon to Blackpool, funnily enough. And of course, we're going to be back in the Bonanza. We're going to be GCDMA again. I've done the random word generator already. The first word it came up with was crash, so we're definitely not calling the aircraft that. But we're going to be Disco Niner 2 today, and that is pretty much as simple as it is. It's hopefully going to be a nice flight. We're going to be starting at the regular time as it is now. It's currently 9.32 a.m. in the UK on the 9th of February 2023. And we're going to go for few clouds. We've got AI, all players, and preset. And that's pretty much it. Let's jump into our little bonanza. And here we go then. Lovely stuff. This might also actually solve why my textures were looking absolutely terrible previously. If we get the actual Bing maps now, the ground and all of the textures on the runways and stuff might look quite a bit better. So we'll hopefully be able to figure this out. That certainly looks different to what I remember last time anyway. But here we are. Golf, Charlie Delta, Mike Alpha, Disco Niner 2. And let's get ourselves over to... Blackpool, shall we? Now, the frame rate in the actual sim is going to be a lot lower because I've moved the ATC window out uh, for previous videos just to save a bit of tempo on my graphics card because, funnily enough, turning this window and moving it outside by popping it out like that seems to save about 8 degrees Celsius on my graphics card. It drops the frame rate in-game, but you know what? I think I'd rather sort of save my graphics card in the long run over stuff like that. We're going to get both alternators on. Avionics Master on, which is going to turn this screen on over here. We're then going to flick a bunch of these switches, just because you can. We're going to get the strobe and beacon lights on. We're going to get the panel light in, taxi light, and we're not going to have landing lights on yet. We're going to turn the auxiliary fuel pump on in just a sec. Let's get our mixtures and stuff on here. Move that up there. I'm doing that on this throttle control again. Move the auxiliary fuel pump on. Make sure the parking brake is set. And we will start the little sausage. There we go. Turn the revs and the mixture down. And what else do we need to still do on here? We need to turn that fuel pump off is one thing because it's very loud. Down you go. Let's get the nav lights on, actually. I forgot to maybe do that. Parking brake is set. So let's press enter on this screen, which gives us our flight path, or should do anyway. Doesn't seem like it's giving us a flight path or any sort of approach or anything, which is certainly interesting. Maybe once we get in the air, it'll begin. Anyway, we know where, roughly where we need to go, so we're going to have to try and follow that. There's a green arrow on there, to be fair, so I think that might be right. Let's tune into the radio. Let's radio get clearance. Radio Disco Niner 2 IFR to Blackpool, ready to copy. Disco Niner 2 is cleared to Blackpool Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 6,000. So there's no number up there at the moment. When we twist that, you'll see it's on 100, 200, 300. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. We'll click that in. Read back the clearance. Autopilot is off. Flight director on. Seems to change something there, so it certainly knows what we're going to be doing. Vertical speed, we do that when we get to it. So, let's to tune to the traffic here, and then we're going to get our pushback sorted. Pre-plan where this is going to go. So this map might look a little bit better now. Uh, sort of. We're going to be going out on runway... What runway was it? <laughs> I can't remember what runway she said. Bear with me. Sorry, little thing. Didn't even give me a runway. Okay, well, we'll go out on runway 02, because that's the closest to us. That's this one here. Looks like we've hit a waypoint there. Uh, we will push back this way. Bang. Let's see whether these guys give us pushback, shall we? Here he is. Now, this doesn't always work beautifully, so if he does end up glitching inside the aircraft, then, yeah. Release parking brake. Once he's connected, we click hold. He's not lined up with us, really. We'll just click it. 
<laughs> he might glitch into us now. It tends to happen like this. <laughs> Don't you love it? Doesn't seem to work too well with these aircraft, does it? Oh, well, look at that. Oh, there you go. There he is. That's nicely on the line, though. It's pretty close. Went off it slightly at the end there, but no. This looks a lot better, doesn't it? This looks a lot better with the Bing maps on. Certainly has made a big difference. So hopefully that works out better for future videos as well. Parking brake on. Pushback is done. Thank you very much, sir. Go on. Off you pop now. Go on. Whoa. Was it me or did that seem weird how he turned around? We've got player tags on, by the way, so we can see other people in the sky. It might be a bit of an immersion killer, so I might turn that off. But now we are going to announce our taxi. Echo Golf, Charlie Kilo, traffic, disco, ah, Niner runway two, two taxi five. To runway two five. So where is runway two five? <laughs> okay, how do we get that VFR map up? She didn't mention runway two five, did she? Zero two zero seven is typically going to be the one that's furthest away, isn't it? Is that two five? No, two five's there. So we need to hmm, turn around, basically. We might have to taxi down the runway a little bit and then get on. Anyway, we're taxiing. That's the main thing. We can probably turn it round somewhere. <laughs> but again, <laughs> this is already becoming Chaz isn't very good at this. But she nowhere said runway 25 there, did she? The first mention of runway 25 has been me. Oh well. Hopefully the camera isn't jittering around too much. I know that sometimes it can do. So we're on runway 02. Why does it say 07 and then it's at... It says 07 on that sign on the left and it says 02 on there. Anyway, we're going to use the runway as a taxiway. <coughs> Unless we then get on this runway on our right. Now, nah, let's just fast taxi it down the runway, shall we? There's no one about anyway, so it's all right. And I like this whole sort of honour system of you just tell people when you're on and off the runway. I'm going to wind it down on the throttle a bit now and just let it roll, see how far it rolls for. I love the sounds. You can just about hear it rumbling underneath us. So we've been told to climb and maintain 6,000. Okay, here we are, getting to the end of the runway now. So we're going to go over to the left, hit the brakes. Oh, actually, there's a turnaround spot at the end here, rather than these taxiways. So we shall follow that to the brakes. Slow it down a bit more than that, I think. Come on, turn. Good God, it didn't want to turn. Going to clip that runway light. For such a tiny plane, it really doesn't do small turns on the spot. You would have thought that that nose wheel would be able to go fully 90 degrees. Ah, I'm pulling this stick so hard. Now, I've not got pedals to do rudder or anything, so I'm using the stick. We just twist the stick, basically. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're departing. We're going to say south. Echo Golf, Charlie Kilo, traffic disco, Niner, flaps two one. taking off runway two zero departure to the south. Flaps one. Let's go. Floor it. Moving around a tiny bit. I say moving around a tiny bit, it's moving around a lot. Up. Oh. Gear up. Flaps up. Power down a little bit. Lovely. Right, now if we put autopilot on, I wonder where it's going to take us. Don't sink, don't sink, don't yes. Manchester Centre Disco 9 or 2 is passing 300 feet, climbing 6,000 feet. Disco 9 or 2, Manchester Centre QNH 2 9 or decimal 9 or 2 continues okay. as planned. Okay, seems like we don't have a flight plan or any sink, waypoints or anything. Sink, so what we're going to do is going to tell it to sink, go vertical, sink, si vertical speed sink, up. Set. Okay, so we're going to do a turn. We're going to do this manually now. We're not going to have any waypoints or anything like that on the way by the look of it because it's just direct. So we're going to now do this turn here. So on this graphic here, you can see this little blue thingy. That's basically wherever we turn this knob to tell the heading to go to. Uh, we need to change the barometric pressure to 2992, as they told us before. And we're going to head up this way. Aircraft is going to level out now and carry on climbing. So you can see the white line shows up on there when we're going to be going that way, when we're changing the head in. And there's Carnarvon down there, look. Oh, it does look a lot prettier, actually, doesn't it, when you get the Bing maps on. I don't know why I didn't have that selected before, though, to be honest with you. So back in the Bonanza. Back in the Bonanza. I like it. 
I like it a lot. So I don't know what that is. That seems to be some sort of localizer that it's telling us to go to. Either way, we're going to go follow this path here. I think this is an idea of our airways or something, of which way we can go. I'm going to give it a little bit more turn to the right there. Just change heading slightly. Lovely jubbly. Just taking a bit of time to turn the player nameplates off, but this looks glorious, doesn't it, this time of day? Right now, we're just going through 3,800 feet on our way to 4,000 feet, and our climb is going to take us all the way to 6,000. I'm pretty sure that based on this, we're just following this channel directly up to Blackpool, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. We've got clearance to Blackpool as filed, as they were saying before, so I think uh, we're going to be taken there one way or another. It doesn't seem to say that we're going to Blackpool, though. Although I think that's the waypoint, isn't it, actually? That doesn't tell us the final thing. Let's go on flight plan down here, actually, because there is a flight plan button. EGNH, RNAV, yeah. So it knows that we're going there. It's just not giving us specific waypoints or anything. Still, it's quite cool, actually, how, when you look at this, we're travelling right down the split between Anglesey and the rest of Wales, look. Look at that. That's so cool. It really does make a difference, doesn't it, when you put that scenery on. I don't know why I didn't have it on before, and I don't remember it looking that pretty. God, I thought this was pretty before. Now it's really pretty. Getting close to 6,000 feet now. Altitude hold is off. Vertical speed will be off in a second. We'll watch this flick here to off when it reaches that height. Doing 120 knots at the moment. There you go, we're getting a little green warning come up on here saying that you get into your altitude sunshine. There you go, vertical speed is now off, now it's reached what it needs to, and we're going to carry on. Now this doesn't seem like it's that little airway that I thought it was going to be to tell us where to go. So we're going to have to make our own way there by the look of it, and figure it out as we go. Could be interesting. I mean, we can ask for vectors to next waypoint, I guess, but there is no waypoint. Manchester Centre Disco 9 or 2 would like to change destination to Blackpool. Disco 9 or 2 is clear to Blackpool Airport is filed. Squawk 0242. It's just doing that to make sure that we definitely had the uh, Disco clearance. Disco 9 or 2 cleared to Blackpool Airport is filed. Squawk 0242. Let's ask for a waypoint. Disco 9 or 2, oh. read back correct. Right Radar heading 050. 6,000 feet. Nine thousand resume on navigation climb and maintain 9,000 feet. 9,000 feet. Okay. 50 miles southwest. Roblu. Okay, so we need to head to Roblu, wherever that is. Roblu, Roblu, Roblu. Ooh, where are you, Roblu? Got a lot to look at on here. You've probably seen it by now. It's probably a little bit further up here and we can't quite see it yet, but they've told us to go heading 050. Maintain We're going to do just that. Okay, so up to 9,000 feet we go. Climbing through 6,800 right now. We're going through some cloud at the minute by the look of it. There's a bit of cloud everywhere, really. And there is our destination airport, I believe. Let's see if we can get another vector. Manchester Centre, Disco Niner 2 requesting vector to next waypoint. Disco Niner 2, continue to Roblo turning and following heading 065. 065. Disco Niner 2. I love this. You know, I love this. I know I'm not very good at it, and most of my flights have had something go wrong, and we've had to adjust and, you know, change our plans and whatever, and I've missed approaches and all that, but I think this is so much fun. Just little hops like this, you know, in a, in a tiny little plane. It's just you. It really feels like it's just you. I know that sounds really silly to say, but, like, you feel like you're in this tiny little thing. All on your own against the world. And it's excellent fun. We're above all the clouds now, really. Can't see Roblu on there yet, but I imagine it's going to be over that way. We're going to be coming in from this way, that way, if that makes sense. So we're going to be going down on what our map is here. Can't sort of drag the map around, by the look of it, unless... Oh, there's a little mouse on the screen. Ah, cool. See the little mouse? You get to control it with this. I don't see Roblu. Or is Roblu in this mess here? Is it all over this? That's quite cool. It said Roblu transition, so I imagine it would be out uh, here somewhere. And then you right-click it to get it back on yourself. That's cool. I, I like that. I didn't realise you could play with that. Well, 
this is going to be the long haul. So unless something major happens, I'm going to skip along a little bit and I'll catch you in a few minutes' time when we get a bit closer. Who's at 300 feet? We're way out over the water now and there's a lovely wind farm down there. Looks awesome. We've gone way off the coast look. So eventually soon we're going to swing it around to the right slightly. Blackpool's just over there somewhere. So we're going to sort of go up that way and then turn back around onto the approach. I do like our little bonanza though. Great, isn't it? I love the livery. It looks excellent. One thing that's really good on Microsoft Flight Simulator is the reflections. I mean, look at the reflections on the wing there. Might be a little bit grainy, but I think that looks absolutely mega. And that's just something that really helps. So look at this here. The way that the texture isn't perfect either, you know. It's not perfectly smooth. It's a bit bubbly. Really good. We're going to ask for another waypoint just to see what they think. Manchester Centre, Disco Niner 2 requesting vector to next waypoint. Disco Niner 2, continue to Robla turning and following heading 065. Okay. So we're going to carry on. We're on 065. That's fine. We know we're on the right route, so that, that'll do me. We're at 9,000 feet now as well. So we've got our decent altitude. Look at the wind farm down there. Yeah, that's cool. So I'll skip on a little bit more then and report in again. Oh. We're at 7,000 feet. Disco Niner 2 don't have the traffic. They have me, I don't have them. 2 o'clock it said. 4 miles, 7,000 feet. I'd expect them to be around here somewhere. But no. Wondering whether they were obscured by that cloud. I don't see them, unfortunately. They see me, but I don't see them. <laughs> traffic at 200 feet. I don't think you have to worry about them that much unless you're in a book in here. They might have flown past us by now. Disco Niner 2 don't have the traffic. Still don't have them. Oh well. This has actually got us on a really good path, hasn't it? Disco oh. Niner 2 descend and maintain 3,500 feet. Roger that, love. Cheers. Thousand feet a minute down. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say it's got us on a really good path. Actually, we're going to head in this straight line, probably pick up the approach and then turn on. Might have to be quite a sharp turn, and I might have to do a bit of correcting when we get there. But yeah, I think it sorted us out either way. Blackpool approach Disco Niner Two is passing 8,100 feet, descending 3,500 feet. Disco Niner Two Blackpool approach QNH Two Niner Decimal Niner Two. Continue to Rob Lewis planned. Yep, Two Niner Niner Two. We've got that. Continue to Roblu, which is a waypoint that we still can't see. But, yeah, again, we'll carry on. And I'll report back to you in a minute. We're just about to get over some land now, so we should have a bit more contact with ATC. You could hear a little bit there with someone getting cleared for takeoff runway 28. I believe that's where we're going to be on as well. So they're going to be way out over to the left-hand side over here. Blackpool is just going to be down there somewhere. We'll find it eventually. Oh, there's Blackpool. Is that it literally down there? No, that's not Blackpool, but it's a different airfield. It's EGOW. This is the one that Matt ended up flying over, actually, when we did that flight to Manchester in the two bonanzas. Looks like quite a quaint little airfield. Blackpool's up over there somewhere. We're just about to get to our allocated height now. We're about to get to 3,500 feet. There's a lot of Cessnas and traffic and so on taking off and landing at uh, Blackpool by the sound of it. So that's nice. It's a little bit busy. It means we've got quite a lot of radio chatter. Now, it might tell us to turn here if we ask for another waypoint. It might take us down this way and turn us back around. No. That's fine. Still on 065. Continue to Roblo turning and following. Heading 065, Disco Niner 2. We will do that then. You can see a little bit of turbulence going on here. It's like rocking around just a tiny bit. According to the map, Blackpool is directly off our left wing right now, over there somewhere. I think it might just be there. There it is. So we might be turning right shortly to 
go parallel to this white line here, which is the approach. We might be going up this way, then doing a turn and coming back on ourselves. I still don't see a Roblu, so I'm wondering whether it's further up north and then we're turning back to the right, maybe. There's a lot of airfields over there, look. But I don't see a Roblu. Descend and maintain 2,600 feet. Keep speed not above 210 knots, Disco 9 or 2. Okay, so they at least still have us on their radar. They still know that we're here and on our way in, which is good. Speed not above 210 knots. We're doing 166 at the moment. We're not even at full chat. We're nearly at full chat. You can see here the revs. If you do really turn the revs all the way up and floor it, you'll see it'll go red and start flashing at us. Or it might do. Turn the mixture up. There you go. Turn the mix up really. Just it's 2700. It'll go, ah! So we just keep it slightly under that. We're getting down to our necessary height now. We should be turning slightly soon, I think. Either that or we're going to intercept this white line and it's going to take us there then, for some reason, turn us back around. It does seem like Microsoft Flight Simulator has uh, an interesting time with giving waypoints and approaches and so on. I need to come off the throttle a little bit here because we're going into the yellow here and I don't like that. Got all the trees and stuff down here. Look at the scenery, it's lovely. Really lovely. It's very realistic and it streams it really nicely as well. I'm not sure how it's going to look when the video is finished, obviously, but I think it looks phenomenal. Look at that. I like this a lot. <laughs> G-Lugs. Like that. You know they're going to definitely listen to you, don't you? Manchester Centre, Disco Niner, 2, 2,600 feet. Disco Niner, 2, Manchester Centre, QNH, 2, Niner, Decimal Niner, 2, continue to NH, 28 I as planned. Okay. So we're going to be turning to that now. They've not told us that we're going to be doing that. So big turn. We're going to be trying to line up with NH2AI now. And that's going to put us on the approach to Blackpool. So we've just got outside of Blackpool's airspace a little bit to get onto this. That's why it's told us to contact Manchester Centre. And now we're going to go back on the approach again. Going to 119er decimal 9er 55 disco 9er 2. We don't want it to level us out yet. We need to be still turning towards NH2AI. You can see just there. If I do this again with this little heading thing, watch the line between our aircraft and that there. If I'm going to zoom in a little bit, actually. There you go. Look, see, we're going to go directly towards that, and then we're going to line it up to NH2AF. Let's contact the approach. Blackpool approach Disco Niner to 2,600 feet. Disco Niner to Blackpool approach QNH 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Continue to NH28I as planned. I like it. I like that. This has actually worked out a lot better than the flights where we actually had a proper flight plan and waypoints to get to. Then again, I'd imagine that aircraft like this are more prone to having flights like this, where the person behind the wheel or behind the stick or the yoke tends to know where they're going anyway. We didn't have our landing lights on earlier. I suppose we should have them on, really. What's our fuel looking like? Yeah, we could probably switch it over to the right one now. And I'm going to click the wrong one again, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I always do it. I always do it. I always flick the wrong one. <laughs> so when we get to NH2AI, we're going to then line up with 2AF. That's going to be in just a moment's time, actually. Okay. Roger that. We're not on approach yet, so we're not going to contact the tower till we get to NH2AF. But very soon, we're going to start moving slightly to the right. Just bank it a little bit left, just to really meet that early so then we can turn right. See Blackpool just off there when the aircraft isn't bobbling about. There's the runway. Okay, we're on the line now, so let's start to slightly intercept 2AF. Look at that, the line matches up beautifully. Awesome. Okay, cool. Another gorgeous sight out the window. That's really impressive. Up close it might not look great, but just having it like that, that's enough for me, you know, that keeps me happy. Look at it. So cool. This may seem normal to a lot of you, but I've, I've not properly played a flight sim like this ever, really. So having the scenery like that in such an easy way where you don't have to pay hundreds of pounds to just download a part of the UK, it just works. They've done a great job with it, I must say. I think they've done a great job. You might think, oh, it looks rubbish, Chess. Shut up. I find it ironic that it's Blackpool Tower. Well, it's clearly not Blackpool Tower because that's further down the coast. Let's actually speak to them because we're a bit closer than I thought. Nine miles. Nine miles. 
What's that? It's a different airport. I don't know what that is. But I imagine they have a nightmare with all sorts of traffic. So is Blackpool down there then? Yeah, there's Blackpool. So how come approach mode won't work? You have to turn flight director off or something? Okay, turn autopilot off then. Let's do some flying. There's an aircraft on final. You can see just that little flickering red dot there that's shining away. Whoa. Okay, love, I'm trying to fly the plane. Yes, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> so I've not got my gear down yet, we're not going to do that. Until, well, we're maybe a bit closer. Actually, no, we're going to do it now. Gear coming down. We're maybe a little bit high as well, actually, so we could probably do with lowering it down a bit anyway. Turn the mixture and stuff down quite a bit, so we really start to lose some speed. We're over to the right slightly, or oh, giving it a bit more rudder than I wanted to there. 130 knots, dropping down below 136, 135. It's a bit windy, it's trying to push us over to the left slightly. But that's good because we're quite lined up to the right here. Way down on the throttle now. It's quite a steep approach, Chaz. Nice. That'll do, that was quite smooth, wasn't it? I'm going to let it roll quite a bit. Hard on the brakes now. And at the next possible point, we're going to turn off the runway. We can't go right there, can we? Disco yep, we can. Two exit runway when able. Yep, run it, love. Run it, run it. Wow, you say when able. I don't think this aircraft is able. <laughs> We've overshot slightly there, love, but thank you. Welcome to Blackpool, everyone. Let's contact ground. Going to 118.405, Disco 9 or 2. Wait here to get taxi instructions. Blackpool Ground Disco Niner 2 request taxi to parking. Disco Niner 2 taxi. We're going to over here. Parking using taxiway Delta Delta 1 Bravo 4 Bravo Bravo 3 Bravo Bravo 2 Bravo 1 Alpha. Okay. Taxi to General Aviation Parking via taxiway Delta Delta, Delta, Delta 1, 1 Bravo 4 Bravo Bravo, 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 Bravo 3 Bravo Bravo, Bravo, Bravo 2 Bravo, Bravo 1 Alpha, Alpha Disco, Disco Niner 2. 2. <laughs> oh, how silly. How silly. So I think that was Disco that we were on, not Disco. <laughs> I think that was Delta that we were on. So we're just going to go Bravo. And then Alpha, I think, is the one that goes all the way around to the right. I'm pretty sure we're going over to that building over there. The big one. Although there's stuff over there to our left. We'll see, shall we? Looks like we're going to go on an adventure. I didn't quite get this bit right. Still, I'd say that was a, a nice successful flight. Nice and straightforward. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Really enjoyed that. Some guys stood over there. They could potentially welcome us in. Yeah, I feel these guys are waiting for us. One of them's on his phone again. They just don't care about us, do they? Oh, I think we're maybe meant to be this side of them. Sorry, mate. You happy with us here? I'm happy with us here. Okay. Parking brake is on. We're going to turn the mixtures and stuff all the way down. And then we're going to turn the engine off. Let's turn all, all of our lights and stuff off. Prop D ice and pitot heat off as well. Avionics master off. That, that, that. And battery off. And that is us done. Let's turn that window off as well. And that was Carnarvon to Blackpool. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. I'm going to be doing a couple more hops over time in this wonderful little bonanza. But I think at this point, it's probably time to start learning a bigger aircraft. Maybe something like a Cessna Citation or some of the little biz jets that they uh, provide on this game. Either way, we're definitely going to be flying this aircraft again. But I do want to start moving up to bigger stuff. Because admittedly, I have been flying the Airbus quite a lot. Been doing some great flights in that. But I want to sort of add a bit more progression to this series. And just show you how easy it is to develop from aircraft aircraft to aircraft so 
GCDMA is definitely not going to be retired by any means. But we'll leave it here at Blackpool and another time we'll fly out of here from Blackpool and go off somewhere else. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.